Hello everybody, welcome to my video about the uh, explanation of the compressor map from a turbo or a compressor. A uh, compressor map is all about the characteristics of a compressor. So uh, when you're looking at the map, you got uh, it's put uh, to two lines. One is the pressure ratio and one is the airflow. Now the airflow uh, is uh, the airflow that you need uh, to reach a certain amount of uh, horsepower you want. And that can be calculated. I uh, have another video about how you can calculate the needed airflow. And a certain amount of compressor can flow an amount of air. So that's <coughs> one, that is airflow. So we call this line one. And it's uh, the airflow of the compressor. The second one is pressure ratio. Pressure ratio is the, um, is the difference or ratio between the inlet manifold intake pressure and the turbo outlet pressure and that's a ratio between those two and that's pressure ratio pressure ratio and that's number two so number three <coughs> are those these little lines these are telling you how fast the, the turbo is running so that for some turbos it can range from 50,000 RPM to 150,000 RPM. So these numbers, these lines, number three, turbo speed lines. Then we have in the compressor uh, the other vertical lines, these lines, which go in here. So you can also, mo maybe mostly you see them from about 70 to uh, say uh, 76, 78 percent. Mostly you see that that's the efficiency of the compressor. So how efficient uh, is compressor running? So that means how ha more efficient the, the uh, compressor is running, the less energy you have to put in to uh, reach an amount of airflow. So that's compressor efficiency. Compressor efficiency oh, that's, that's are those lines that's number four so the most two important ones are this line this is the surge line of the compressor <coughs> that's number five surge line so compressor surge means <coughs> when your uh, compressor is running at a, at a too high uh, uh, pressure ratio at a uh, too low airflow, but it means if you're asking for your compressor uh, higher boost pressure, but you're running still at a very low uh, airflow, your uh, point in the map can be after this line. So what happens is that the your tur turbine wheel is running faster than it can uh, achieve sucking air into it, and then you get uh, yeah. You also call it backflow running of air, and you hear a very uh, it's very winding sound so if you if that happens then you're running a too high boost pressure for the airflow you're running at that point so you can do two things or you have to sh to uh, get your airflow up or your boost pressure down to get back in this line so then you got uh, the first line it can be also damaging the turbo if you're running uh, it too much after the first line because your turbine wheel is going back and forth in the bearing, so it can get some damage. So we got number six, that's this line, so if we can get this one away, so it's the outer line of the, of the compressor map, this line, so this is number six, that's the choke line. So how, when you're getting over the choke lines, I mean you, you're asking too much airflow from the compressor at a certain uh, a boost pressure or pressure ratio. So if your pressure ratio is too low, if for example you're running uh, with your compressor here, that's already very far to the line, but in your, the boost pressure is lowering, but your RPMs are going up, you can get the point, uh, it will never go over this point because you're choking your compressor. So that's also happening when the, the back pressure in your intake manifold is too low. So it's too easy to get to achieve a certain amount of airflow, but your compressor cannot reach that airflow. That's, also calling stonewalling the compressor. So 
it's just uh, you cannot get more air through the turbine but you can put more energy in to let it run harder but it will not help anything so that's the choke line so I will put links uh, below this uh, video about uh, the airflow and the pressure ratio so how you can calculate those two and uh, I hope when you are in the future looking at the uh, compressor map your understanding of it is better so it's a very important map you can search uh, if you know what kind of airflow you're running and also what kind of boost pressure you're going to run you can calculate your pressure ratio <coughs> and you have your airflow then you can search for what is the best for your engine so it's all about characteristics of your turbo so if there are any questions uh, about this video uh, leave some comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the page thanks bye bye